If you download the source code of this project and go to the folder that says finished games, then images, you'll find an image called spritesheet.png. That's the image we'll be using on our game. It's been obtained from Open Game Art and it's of public domain licensing, which means that it can be used for commercial and non-commercial projects without any further requirements. Basically, you can do anything with it except saying that you made it. So, in order to work with these images, you'll need an image editing program. I'm using one that's called Color Paint for Linux, but it's similar to the, the program Paint that comes with Windows and some other simple image editing software. Of course, you can use more advanced um, programs like Photoshop if you're familiar with it. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, the first thing is that there's basically an invisible grid around each one of these tiles so that even if they're smaller, they still keep the same distance. They, they still stay within that invisible square. In this particular case, the, the, the size of the tiles is 21 by 21 pixels, but it could be, of course, different for other sprite sheets. If you want to load these files on, in Quintus, at least uh, as of the moment of this recording, you cannot have spacing between the border of, of the image, of the top border, and the actual images. So the first sprite sheet needs to begin on this very first row. And same thing goes for the left side. So there can't be any spacing here. That's where the first sprite sheet uh, begins. There can be a separation between the different um, individual tiles. That separation needs to be the same one all over the place. So those are things to keep in mind when working with these tile sheets. Now let's import this into tiled so that I can show you how to get started with your map. I'm gonna go to map new tile sheet and here I need to look for the images the image that I want to use sprite sheet.png and now let's look at these options tile width and height that's 21 times 21 like we said previously and the spacing between these um, the, the, each, each one of the tiles is two pixels so that spacing needs to be the same on on X and on Y. And the margin property, that one, as at least at this moment, is not supported in Quintus. So that's why I was saying that you can't have a margin, an extra margin around your tiles. And also oh, um, doesn't do drawing offset for the time being. So if, if, you're, if you follow this up, you should be okay. Yeah, you have now our sprite sheet here. Let's make this tile the background one. And I can use this tool here to paint my level. So for instance, if I want to paint a background that's like this, I can I can draw elements like this, or I can just use the, the, the paint tool and paint the whole thing. So this is how you can paint your level.